Welcome to the next video in the Data Video Tutorial Series, where we show you tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your SE1200MU HD switcher and RMC260 control panel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to do chroma key and picture-in-picture. -picture. First, locate key 1 and key 2 buttons under the Preview and Program bus. You will always want to start on Preview, so you can confirm all of your settings before you take your effects to air. Press key 1 under the Preview bus. Then, go into the menu by pressing the left knob. Select Keyer by pressing the Enter knob on the right. In this settings menu, change Linear, which is the default option, to Chroma, since we are going to do Chroma key. Press Enter to select and save this setting. Next, we need to tell the switcher the input source for the Chroma key image, which is our image with the green background on input 5. The input chosen for the Fill setting will replace the green and be the background of your chroma key image. You can also select the input for Fill on your Preview and Program bus. A really cool feature of the switcher is being able to automatically adjust the key settings. To do this, go back to Chroma setting and select CK Auto. For example, we can select input 6. To take our chroma key effect live, select key 1 on the program bus, and it will now be on program. If you want to adjust the chroma key further to improve the keying effect, go to the chroma menu and adjust hue and luma settings. When you are done, press the menu button to exit the menu interface, and you are ready to do live chroma key. You can cut and fade to different inputs and put your talent or image on different backgrounds. Next, we are going to learn how to do PIP, also known as picture in picture. The SC1200 has two keyers, key 1 and key 2. We are using key 1 for chroma key. So we will do PIP in Key 2. To start, select Key 2 under Preview. Then go into the menu by pressing the left knob. Go up to Keyer Settings and select it by pressing the right Enter knob. Key 2 is already selected, which is great. No need to change that. Under Keyer Control, we are going to scroll over to Self and change it to PIP. Press Enter again to save and confirm that setting. Next, go to the Chroma menu. Here you can select the key source, but it can get confusing because you have to select your PIP source under the Chroma menu. Don't worry, this is correct. Select the key source that you want to appear in the PIP, and move on to the PIP menu to adjust it. This is where you can select the position of the PIP menu, as well as the size and settings for a border. As you can see here, the size of the PIP window is very large and covers the whole screen because it is set at 97%. We are going to change that by making the window smaller. Changing the X value will move the window horizontally left and right. The Y value will move the window vertically up and down. If you want to make the PIP window more prominent, you can add borders to it. You can do that by going to the border option and increasing the width. Zero is no border. We are going to increase it to 2% here. You can also change the color of the border by changing the hue value. Zero is red and 120 is green. There may be part of the image in the PIP window that you would like to crop out of the frame. You can do this under the Crop menu. You can crop left, right, top, and bottom. When you are done, you can exit the menu by pressing the right knob, and you are now ready to take your PIP to air by pressing Key 2 on the program bus. You can also transition the PIP window in and out with cuts and fades. 
For more tips and tricks on the SE1200 ME switcher, check out the other videos in our tutorial series. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.